Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome back to Pinewood Hills here in Planet Coaster. It is Friday, uh, which means it's time for another Pinewood Hills video. I get a bit done today, although it doesn't really look like much at the end of it, but I did actually manage to get a little bit of decent playtime in the game, uh, despite it being my son's birthday um, this week. So we've, we've been doing lots of things there, prepping for his party and stuff. So I, 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 little bits of dribs and drabs. Uh, luckily, my uh, labyrinthitis has uh, cleared up. Which means uh, you've got a little bit of time lapse today, because I almost managed to actually sit down, although it is still a bit all over the place. <laughs> uh, but I decided to try a bit of a mix, uh, because a lot of people were saying they quite like the time lapse, a lot of people quite saying they quite like the uh, the look around, and a few people said, why not try a little bit of both? And I think that's probably quite a good idea. So we're going to start off with a bit of time lapse, and then we're going to jump into a real time section where we can have a look at what we've done. So first of all, we are continuing on with the um, with the the sort of pier area that was originally the Googie style area that has now been moved across to uh, uh, to join on with the work that Rebel Trillions did. So uh, now this area is going to be a little bit more generic, a little bit more um, sort of traditional pier. So um, lots of kind of uh, upsells and um, uh, and things like that. So this what this video is all about upselling. So first of all, we placed the um, uh, the wheel back in there, so we, that's now got a place rear the pier. And talking of wheels, we're now sticking uh, this one in place as well. So a lot of people commented that the kick flip, uh, or whatever it's called, the big one, was a bit too big. And yeah, it was really. And I think one of the big problems is, is that the new flat rides are a much better scale than the ones that we got in the vintage pack, and it really does sort of make the uh, the older stuff look a bit too big. So I've gone through, and the two uh, flat rides that fit the best are the one that we already had, uh, the sort of Sozo style thing, and then the little wheel. Uh, pretty much the only two that will fit on the pier as it is. So we go back and place that uh, Ferris wheel at the front there, and then uh, move the move this one down further into the uh, to the front of the pier. So now we get two rides on there. They're both pretty well scaled. Still got that idea of sort of like sticking them wherever they can, you know. And uh, and I, I think they turned out pretty well. So. Uh, the next bit we did then was was place those down, uh, refit the paths, and play around with the uh, the pier to make it look right, and kind of fill it in. There's a bit of a cut there, sorry, I lost a little bit of footage here. Basically, squeezing in as much as we can in this pier. Like I said, this is a very small pier. This is a sort of facsimile of what a, a traditional British pier looks like. Um, I, I've mentioned it a few times. I'll mention it again. If you want to see a really great pier built, and I'm see, I'm, I'm not just saying this because I'm friends with him. It, the stuff he's done is so good. If you want to see a really Really great pier build check out mass bandit um he's surf surfside uh, pleasure pier uh, it's based on like an american pier a little bit like gavels uh, galveston i think it's called um uh, but yeah it's really really good and it, and again he's he's kind of gone similar to what i've done here is just stuck as much stuff as you can down into it and obviously this is a much smaller pier so uh, the much stuff is much less but he's got loads of rides coasters on there and everything and it's awesome uh, spooky uh, ghost train uh, yes dead good anyway so here we are just like i say just putting in some uh, tables and chairs giving people uh, space to eat and drink and then uh, filling in the gaps as everywhere we can with bins with stalls with them um, uh, we've got some awesome little uh, a little bit of fence in there just to kind of cap off the ride but very sort of like don't die fencing you know keeping it really light uh, and simple ropes to kind of come across that sort of nautical theme here we go they're, they're here I, th I think they're by fishermen I apologize I can't remember I'll put a link in the description to them but they're really good uh, they're very American though so we have to go in and sort of uh, Britishify them so that was meant to be uh, root beer so we changed it to ginger ale uh, and changed the obviously the prices from uh, from dollars to pounds uh, and there was another one that was um, cotton candy so obviously we've gone in and changed that to candy floss which is what we call it here in the UK uh, and then we're using this awesome font I, I'm pretty sure we've used this before um, yes we had yeah I've mentioned this because we used it for the arcade this is made by um, UA Kins I believe it's, it's pronounced uh, it's basically a mini version of the uh, of the new one we got very piece intensive you know a lot of pieces here but i think it looks so good uh, right here's the big thing that we're doing today okay so you'll see now that we've cut to an empty park that's purely to help with the crashes they are happening much much less since i got uh, the extra ram um but whenever you st it's still occasionally with the sort of advanced rotation uh, move you know moving uh, it does it and i knew for a fact that i was going to be doing a lot of advanced rotation here so i thought you know what I'm not going to even attempt it. I'll come out of the park and build this completely separately. Uh, so what is this that we're building? Um, it's basically it's a, it's a, what they call a slingshot ride uh, or a reverse bungee ride or something like that. First of all, I have to apologize to the Jubilee Garden, uh, Jubilee Valley, uh, 
sorry, Jubilee Garden Boys, um, Commander Center, and Ruble Trillions. Uh, I actually, I actually built this before their most recent episode of Jubilee Gardens came out, uh, and they built one of these in there. Commander Center has built one, and it's fantastic. It's much better than this one is. <laughs> uh, but I just want to say that it's you know great minds think alike. I guess uh, I was looking for some sort of upsell options to get into the park, and this is uh, quite a common one. You get these a lot. You especially get these in piers. I know Blackpool has a couple of these, and um, other places. I have seen these in parks as well, and basically it's a, it's a big, uh, two big uh, metal structures with a, a huge elastic bungee in the middle with a, uh, a sort of enclosed tubular steel cage at the bottom that you can get in, uh, you pull down usually by electromagnets, and then it, you get released and you fly up into the air and spin around and bounce around a bit. And they're horrible. I've never been on one. They look awful. I couldn't think of nothing worse than being flung around in the air. Um, but and they're all and they're quite expensive as well for what it is. They're usually sort of like twenty quid or something like that to go on. Um, yeah, just not really a fan of them myself. But I love the look of them. And again, I really wanted to kind of push the upsell nature of um, of this area of the park. And just the park in general, I notice more and more now, especially uh, British parks, especially lately, have more and more of these upsell attractions. Uh, so yeah, so that's what the idea is here. I'm not showing you all of this build, by the way, because it's pretty boring. But the idea is I want to show you a little bit of the uh, of the structure here, and now we'll um, we'll cut into a live section where I can show you the whole thing in the park. Right, so here we are down at peep level. You can see the uh, the two new rides there on the pier. I think they worked out a lot better. Uh, much better scale, fit nice, make the pier look really busy and full. And then over here, you'll see where our new uh, thing is placed. Wow, it's the first time I came in to tell you come and have a look at it. It thinks really good. Uh, so we'll come over and see it. That's the new uh, the wheel in place as well. I've got to move the Pinewood Hill sign back onto it and also source out the queue for it as well. So a lot of this is still a work in progress. Uh, like I said before, it's been... Um, my son's birthday this week, so a little short on time uh, to get everything capped off. But uh, here we go. We've got two of these things now then set up. Um, like I said, if you want to go and check out a really great one of these, uh, head over to Jubilee Gardens. Um, it really is awesome. My one, I've gone for a little bit more of a budget theme. They've, there's these like, completely covered in gorgeous lights that are all coloured and everything. It's really good. Uh, the only things uh, I've tried to do is at the top there you see a flashing light. It's always something I see on anything that's quite tall is they have a bit of a flashing light to sort of... Uh, you know, to uh, stop planes going into it, although this is way off where a plane would be, but even still, I think it's some sort of safety measure. So uh, we're coming down here, then again, all the work, very big whip this is here, all this is uh, will most likely be grass, to be honest with you, greenery. I think we'll, we'll make a little bit of a forested area here. Uh, but now we come in to, um, to what we've called the Sky Screamer. Uh, I had a look at a few of these names, and and this is one of the ones that they came up with, that I came up with. So, Sky Screamer, Bungie Freefall Thrill Ride. I know it's a lot of them have this ridiculous tagline, you know, that's it's just like a really random mess of words. <laughs> so I came up with Bungie Freefall Thrill Ride, um, and then we got the prizes here. So one person's ten pound. Um, I think mass. Uh, I think um, Commando uh, and Rubles one is a two seater one, but I had a look at the Blackpool one and it's a three seater. Uh, but I will say that I got the idea of building this out of these uh, emergency lights completely from there. My original one was made out of the tiniest little wooden things and it didn't look very good. Uh, so I saw that they made theirs out of the emergency lights. I was like, oh, robbing that because I think it looks really good. It looks like sort of like padded. Um, padded metal which I you know metal with like padded uh, fa uh, fabric or sponge around it I just think it works out really nicely so yeah completely robbed that uh, nice um, sort of jank fence that opens it up so you can see what's going on and then it would shoot off up into the yeah, up into the sky there so there we go there's our ticket sales um, like I said this episode is all about upselling so there's our first upsell um, and then over here we've got the uh, what we started working on last week the uh, the balloon uh, I haven't really done anything to that, to be honest with you. I still need to go and finish that off. So this is going to be our second upsell here. Somebody mentioned using the cable instead of the chain. Uh, I think you might be right. I think the chain's a bit too thick. I think we'll have to go back and use the cable on that instead. So, uh, yeah, thanks for that. Uh, the other thing is um, that we've got in is right over here. Uh, I think of the, oh, you can just see it there over the bridge. Again, still need to do a lot of work to this whole area here. But across this bridge... We now have um, next to the speedway. This is originally where the Zozo was, but I was never really happy with the Zozo uh, where it was, to be honest with you. So instead, uh, I went and uh, begged Mineral Mineral Junction for uh, for his uh, bouncers that he'd put into 
uh, No Name Landia in the, for the Broco stat. I was, I, as soon as I saw him, I was like, oh, that's amazing. I want him. Please give them me. Uh, so I asked him very nicely, and he uh, provided. So we now have these. So I haven't built these. Um, but I did. I kind of built this one here. So there's, there's two types of bounces. This one here, where you get sort of strapped in, uh, and you know can bounce away. And then there's also these ones, more traditional ones that are just sort of like built into the ground. So these, uh, I have actually built all of this around them uh, to make it look a bit more like the sort of ones I've I've seen before in different parks and piers and things like that. So uh, yeah, these are uh, got some here. So what you would come in is uh, you come and upsell these. These would, you would charge these a little bit more, a couple of quid to come and have 10 minutes on here or if you're a little bit littler maybe um, you could come and have a go on just the uh, the regular bouncing ones as well so yeah thank you for um, uh, Mineral for, for letting me use those there's, uh, there's Arrow in the background there look yup it goes and the go-kart's going past as well wow look at that <laughs> good timing or what uh, so yeah so we need to do a little bit more work here signage and stuff uh, but overall I'm kind of happy with how a lot of this sort of stuff is coming together now I'll finish off as always with a couple of glamour shots to kind of show you some of the new areas. Uh, we will soon start working on a new big bit. I know that the last sort of three or four episodes have kind of been little bits really but I'm trying to get into this whole new sort of vibe I've got going on there. This whole sort of taking a bit more time and uh, doing things a little bit better uh, but not having quite as much progress. You know I'm really sort of you know very in the zone with that at the moment so you will find that the next few Pinewoods probably are going to be these slightly more sort of smaller update videos but yeah really happy with how it's all turning out. Thank you so much for watching I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have you can give us a like it really does help out the channel and if you're not already don't forget to subscribe. Any thoughts, queries or suggestions you can pop them down in the comments. If you fancy a chat you can find me on Twitter and at Chanty Sparrow. If you'd like to join in with the Geekism community you can do so over on our Geekism Discord server. You will find the link for that in the description. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.